If you love green screen blender scenes as much as I do, then you found the right video because I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks how you can make your green screen blender scenes even better. It breaks my heart seeing like all this talent and skill out there, but they just don't get those one or two things right. It's like always something off and often it has to do with the temptation of the freedom you have in the 3D environment, but people forget you have to work what you actually record in your green screen. Let me show you what I mean. You just saw the scene, we are here in Blender. As you can see, my environment is pretty simple. I have a few 3D assets and a few default cubes. This is myself on a green screen. So I use the constraint on it, so it's pointing exactly at the camera. So it's not like in a weird angle or like diagonal or anything it's just looking straight at the camera which is important because i recorded this obviously from a camera angle so it also has to face the camera this is the first tip have your 2d plane with your green screen always facing the camera now the other important thing is which almost everybody's always getting wrong even though it feels like natural to do it right position your cg camera at the exact height like your real camera so when i was recording this i had my camera lying on the floor pointing at myself so when i put the cg camera in my scene i also want to have my camera very low like almost on foot level if suddenly my camera was like up here for example this shot wouldn't work anymore like the the angle is completely off i'm going in the wrong direction my feet are sticking to the ground it doesn't work have your 3D camera exactly, or more or less at least, where your the real camera was. You can see the difference from this, or when we look at the actual scene, like here. Seamless. I think I even have my uh, CG camera a little too low, but I also have a camera movement, so the camera is going from down to up, so it's raising a little. So I am in this ballpark, okay? So if you bring your camera too high, it's not going to work. If it's too low, it's not going to work. And also the angle. You can see I recorded it the way that I'm going from right to left. That's why also in the CG scene, I have myself positioned that I'm going to go from right to left. And obviously you can see my ridiculously long cape. But, you know, I wanted to try to attach a cape to myself and having this cape also interact with the CG environments to add a little extra realism. I know it's a very long cape, ridiculous, but I've heard size matters. I've used the same green screen video for another scene because I wanted to experiment with it a little more and did the exact same thing. I have the camera on a very low level on foot height. All the camera does is pushing in and going, going a little higher. And you've heard this tip before, but I'm going to say it again. If the scene allows it, try to cover up your feet, the contact point to the ground. You can get away with it better. Again, if I decided to bring my camera higher, the angle would just not work anymore. So make sure to always keep your camera exactly where your real camera was. If you record from the ground, have your CG camera on the ground. If you record hip level, do hip level. If you record from the top, then you can have your CG camera on the top. So really, really be mindful of that. And speaking of camera, another big one is your camera focal length. If you record in a certain focal length, like here, I recorded this with 28 millimeters on my camera. So I also make my CG camera also 28 millimeter focal length. You can adjust that in your camera settings, on your camera, camera settings, focal length, 28 millimeter a lot of you record your green screen footage with an iphone which is completely fine but then you have to figure out what focal length is your iphone using if you if it's a white camera it's also around 22 i believe but this is something you need to figure out which iphone you're using and what focal length it is because you want to give your cg camera the same focal length if not it would just look completely off it just doesn't look right because the lens distortion and all that works differently on different focal lengths so you have to match that and yes everything i say here there is wiggle room but not as much as you think especially when it comes to lighting i didn't talk about lighting at all yet but lighting is extremely important for a lot of scenes when it's like scenes like here 
you can get away with more because it's a very dark scene. Sometimes we have those flashes from the background. But when you look at the green screen scene, I am lit more from the right side. That's why I put this little highlight here so we can assume, okay, my character is actually lit from this a little bit. So that's called mo motivated lighting. Okay, so this lighting here on myself is motivated by this CG light. So that's the other very, very important thing. If you don't have any lights in your green screen, then you just have to work with what you got. But the best advice I can give you if you don't have any lights, see where the lights are coming from in your green screen and add those light in CG as well and try to make it make sense. And don't be lazy like most and including myself. I'm not saying I'm not doing that ever, but including myself, don't just light it somehow and then make your whole scene dark and just assume you're just gonna see a silhouette anyways. Because yes, you can do a lot with that having like this nice silhouette shot, it does work. But let's just pretend you want to actually see your character, which would be nice sometimes. In that case, either try to light your character, your green screen character properly and light the same way in, in the CG scene, or depending on how you have to light your green screen, if you don't have any lights, then just light your CG scene the same way or as close as you can. So that's it for this little quick tips and tricks video i hope you got something out of it and please keep those tips in mind Rewatch this video if you have to and if you are interested in the breakdown how i made those particular scenes then please let me know in the comments below and of course subscribe so i can make a full breakdown on those scenes so you can make one just like that yourself thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video Toodaloo.